What's going on everybody welcome back to another video and if you guys seen the title this is gonna be a big transformation I'm cutting one of my brother-in-law's hair so you know I gotta hook him up and make his haircut look dope but here to get started with this hair I'm gonna go ahead and begin to cut the work on the very top of his hair so here I'm just saturating my clients hair with water to get it prepped up and get it ready to be cut So for that step right here, I'm actually going to go in and start to section out the, the top of his hair. And this is because I really want to make sure I know exactly where his head starts to round out. That way when I'm going in using the clipper over comb on the side, I'm blending in to the shape because it's re really, really important that I keep the shape for this haircut. That way it all flows nice and evenly. So now that I got his top of his hair clipped up in a way, I'm going to go in and start to remove the bulk. And the, the way I like doing that the most is using the clipper over comb. I feel like it's the most efficient way and it'll save you guys a whole bunch of time. So yeah, this is basically what I love doing. I feel like you guys should practice this. If you guys do not use clipper over comb, it will definitely save you time. And I feel like it gives you a nice, uh, good shape and it, 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 it leaves you in control pretty much on the shape of your client's hair. And if you guys would like to know where you guys can purchase this comb, I will leave the link in the description down below just, just in case you guys want to check it out. And as you guys can see, I am dropping it towards the back. I'm trying to end the fade right where his occipital bone is. And that's because it'll make your life a lot easier uh, by trying to, to blend it in because I find right there at the occipital bone, you're going to have a lot of trouble blending in whatever guard you have. So by leaving that length long right there, it would kind of just make everything flow and leave you with a lot less of a headache. Now here I'm going to start to grab a little bit of a section right here on the back. That way I start blending in the short hair, the shortest hair to the very top. And this is basically going to set like a really good foundation um, before you go in with the fade. That way it's not too much to, to blend in later on with the clipper over comb. You guys are grabbing out your sections you guys want to make sure you guys get a nice firm grip that way the the hair is not moving all over the place and i am kind of flaring out as i'm going towards the, the top and that will give you a really good transition fading in from the short hair to the long hair And here I'm continuing to do the same thing, making sure that I'm going throughout the entire head.
now for the top i'm gonna grab a little bit of a section right there in the front like the bang area pretty much and that's basically gonna be uh my initial guideline for for the top so once i get my uh the, the desired length that i want i'm gonna go ahead and trim it and then follow that all the way to the back Now here I'm doing a little bit of more of cross checking so I'm gonna grab a section right there from the side and comb it down and start to continue to blend up as what we were doing at the very beginning with the with the round of his head we're just gonna go ahead and continue to blend up uh, by trimming the side right there and I basically like to keep grabbing sections until I get to the very middle of his head because at that point I know that it's flowing nice and evenly from the side to the top. So now before I do the fade, I always like to go in and blow dry his hair, style it, make sure I have it exactly how I want his hair to lay. That way once I'm going in to do the fade, um, the shape is pretty much all already there and all I have to really do is just clipper over comb uh, any line that I see. you guys so to begin the fade i have my number one guard with the lever all the way open and i'm gonna start to bring down the side of his fade and uh make sure that i drop it once i go towards the back that way i'm keeping the shape nice and even So now here I'm closing the lever all the way that way it's a true one and making it a nice cleaner shadow fade because I felt like the one and a half was still a little bit too long for my taste so 
yeah i went ahead and closed it just to uh, go ahead and shorten it a little bit more and i'm making sure that i'm getting every single hair that way i'm not coming back to it later on and definitely going in all different directions because he does have a lot of hair going in different directions so So now here I have my number one and a half guard with the lever all the way open and we're gonna go ahead and continue to blend up going up another inch uh, to go ahead and help us out before we go back in with the clipper over comb. Now here I have my lever all the way closed and I'm gonna go back in to go ahead and remove the bottom line. So now this time around, I am gonna try to blend it in as much as I can with the clipper over comb. And to start, I am gonna be doing going in at the shortest possible setting with the comb. Um, and then uh, making sure that I'm flaring out at the same time. And then as I'm going up, I'm gonna flare out more and more until it's completely blended out. Now for the neck, I am not a big fan of leaving it rounded out or boxed up, so I'm gonna go in and do a nice little light taper in the neck, starting with my trimmers to go ahead and set in my bald guideline. Now for the taper, I'm not going to go too in detail with it because I mean his hair is pretty blonde anyway so you're not really going to be able to see like the, the guidelines or anything like that. So uh, I'm just going in with my uh, clipper starting with the all the way closed position and working my way all the way to the open position and that should pretty much blend it out uh, completely. If not, I'm going to go in with the half guard to go ahead and blend in the line a little bit more. Now to edge them up, I am using my Babyliss trimmers. These are the best trimmers that you guys could get on the market in my personal opinion. Of course, there's other great ones, but for me, I just haven't found any other one that hits as good as these. All right, you guys, so now for his beard, the way I'm gonna do it is the way I would want my beard done if I had a beard, if that makes sense, because my beard sucks. I have a bootleg type of beard, so yeah, this is how I would want my beard done. For the most part, I'm just gonna be shaping it freehand with my clipper all the way closed and kind of giving it shape to where um, it goes longer once it goes to the front chin area.
Now for this part right here, I'm going back in and just trying to blend in the, the, the fade to the beard as much as possible using the one guard and the one and a half guard. Now to go ahead and remind you guys, this is how he walked in. This is the before and this is the after. I hope you guys liked it. If you guys did, feel free to leave a comment with your guys' feedback in the, in the, not in the description. What am I saying? In the comment section down below. And if you guys did like it, make sure you guys hit that thumbs up. Also, if you guys are not subscribed to the channel, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. And if you guys would like to purchase any of the tools and equipment that I use inside this video, all of the links will be down in the description down below. I really appreciate you guys for sticking around and watching the entire thing. Um, I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.